Hey guys, this is Dave from the Wild Togs. I shoot a lot of macro and ultra macro. For my ultra macro, I use the Canon MPE 65mm lens, which starts off where other macro lenses end. The MPE 65 starts at 1 times magnification and goes all the way up to an incredible 5 times magnification. For ultra macro, you need a lot of light, so a flash is a must. You get specialized macro flashes, but they are quite expensive. I use a normal on camera flash. One of the issues I have is that the subject is so close to the lens, just a few centimeters away from the front of the lens, that the camera flash hits the lens barrel and casts a shadow on the subject. This means that instead of getting shots like this, I often get shots like this. I'm going to show you what I made to get around this problem. What I've made is this little gadget that slips over the flash and puts the light right onto the subject. Here's how I made it. I got an old cardboard packaging tube, cut off the length I needed, and then cut that in two at about 45 degrees. I stuck some aluminium cooking foil to the inside of the tube to reflect the light from the flash. It doesn't have to be very flat or uniform, the light will get reflected down the tube anyway. After gluing the foil inside the tube, cut off the excess. On the side that slips over the flash, don't have the foil coming right to the edge, otherwise when you slip it over the flash the foil will get pushed and bunch up. I use black electrical insulation tape to stick the two halves of the tube together and to cover the outside of the packaging tube to improve the aesthetic. I dug around in the kitchen and found an old plastic container that will fit onto the end of the tube. I cut a hole in the container matching the diameter of the tube. You'll want a nice tight fit so don't make the hole too big. I then cut a large hole in the lid of the container and used a piece of white shower curtain to soften and diffuse the light. Once again I cut off the excess. I then glued cooking foil inside the container to reflect the flashlight. To improve the look I covered the outside of the container with black electrical insulation tape too. The last step is to press the tube into the hole cut into the container. Here is the finished result. And here it is in action with the Canon MPE 65mm lens. And here are some of the photos I've taken with this setup. You will have noticed that I'm using a Godox V1 flash with a round head that fits perfectly into the packaging tube. But I've also made one of these for a flash with a traditional rectangular head, and it works just fine. Well, that's how I get beautifully lit ultra macro photos. Thanks for watching.